Certainly, it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm over us at quite a rate. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. But before I return you to our musical programming, let me reiterate that the Lost Heaven Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family, friends, or loved ones and waiting out this dreadful storm and the warmth of the home. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. going home to a couch. <laughs> now I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you.
Where the hell are you hiding? Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Nothing about this feels right. Wow! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Christ. The cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol.
Christ. We gotta get to him. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. survived worse. And Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Come on, get out. 
yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled programming. Does he pay more attention to women on the street than to you? When was the last time he paid you a compliment? Make sure that he only has eyes for one woman with a visit to Behringer's Cosmetics Department for the best music and the latest... Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Ah, Tway Putsi, my fault. Welcome to a WLH Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, he may well be the key man that brings the Wisman Trophy back to Lost Heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn, Jack Seidel. His solo home run in the bottom of the fifth inning of Game 5 turned events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out for the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder cake for that we've shoot. Everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven? Or will the cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. Okay, Tom. Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see French straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no he didn't. Tom? What's going on? So all the gramophones are making the beat this way. Already 
We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty, what with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying, he commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Alums, Graveson, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Arbor, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570. Watch out! like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Where are they moving Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. And you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed. But they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Happening. 
Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks ah, a little shit. spooked. He was They're convinced taking it to the airport, he had body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good.
Gotcha!
Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Damn you, Frank. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me.
I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, o capisco. Tommy. If you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere, dear. The conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pifauri. Farci sentire ne vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. 
Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Sí. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Sí. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Excelente. Entriamo da lì. I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. Sure wish I could have a night off. <coughs> That's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza! Vieni con me! Tommy! I hear! Uff. Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? Picker, are you? Look for a dipinto. A what? Ma, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Another here, Salvatore. Only wall behind here. Who are you? Ma'am! Ma'am! No one help us! Stay out of... <laughs>
gotta be it. Station.